Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Joe, a little earlier today, saying why he can't vote for the codification of Roe v. Wade in the Women's Health Protection Act. This is going to blow your mind because it's blowing my mind, okay? I am so confused with this word salad. We're going to be voting on a piece of legislation, which I will not vote for today. Uh, but I would vote for a Roe v. Wade codification if it was today. I was hopeful for that, but I found out yesterday in caucus that wasn't going to be. You said you're still pro-life. So then why do you support a codification of Roe v. Wade? I've always I just thought this, the land, that's the, the legislation we've had for 50 years. We it's don't have legislation. Law. When the Supreme Court justices came to us and they confirmed their belief and support of precedented law, I believe it. We found out that that's not what they're uh, either moving towards or we'll find out when they have their final ruling come out. But uh, I was very disappointed. What the F is he talking about here? Obviously, the Women's Health Protection Act was the codification. It was the first piece of legislation that would write a law that protects a woman's right to privacy, that protects a woman's right to choose with whom and when she has a family. What is he saying? Well, I was hoping for that, but that's not what it was. And so, you know. But you're pro-life, so, you know, obviously uh, you don't really give a rat to... Well, I was just shocked and surprised. I was shocked and surprised because for 50 years we've had legislation in this country. We have had no legislation. This man is playing such a game. He's playing such a game. You know why? He understands who he's talking to. He's talking to Manu Raju there. He's talking to CNN. He's talking to the media. He knows the people in West Virginia aren't going to see that. He knows the people in West Virginia are going to hear this word salad. They're not going to hear the. All they're going to know is Joe Manchin voted for religious freedom. I mean, honestly, until their daughters end up, you know, dead or, you know, septic or uh, somehow uh, injured to the point where they can't live another day to have another kid. Holy crap, man. Be careful what you wish for, people. Just be careful what you wish for literally denying the possibility of marital rape in this decision. They are literally uh, denying that. The the theory here is that because certain rights were denied in the past, they can be denied in the future. That is what they said, right? right? Okay, so if you you look at that, then you understand that that means that everything that was denied in the past will be denied in the future. By this court. 